kind of feel like Madame Tussaud. Do any of you remember Madame Tussaud? It's a really old unlocked memory. Hi everybody and welcome back. We are officially in my new office. It is a wreck. So I have cleaned around me so that way we can still film in here. And because at this point I didn't think we were going to get a video up today. Um, you probably won't see what soul video maybe for a little bit unless there was one then yay it worked out. If not then just for now we're changing some things until this office gets put back together. Um, so today we have a plush unboxing and I'm so excited to film here. I got a table now. I have a tablecloth. It's cute. Oh, okay, let's start this unboxing. I can tell you right now this is probably going to be a vintage mouse plush. Wow. So this right here probably weighs a good four to five pounds, this mouse. And it looks like it's got a little apron or she's got a little apron. Trying to get this in there the best I can. Maybe I'll just move this box all together. Here we go. This is one big heavy mouse. I doubt there's going to be any sort of. Here's the bottom. I'm guessing this is a door stopper. Like that's the only thing I can think of. Um, mouse's clothes needs a little bit of a wash like the apron itself pretty good condition though though no rips or tears any holes besides that looks okay so now I've got the big thing out of the way we can put the box back I think I think maybe we just can't film my boxing here okay next thing is I've seen these before I think at like Walmart or something it's a little black dog with a sequin body it's also a purse. It's the weirdest thing. Uh, let's see. Uh, that's weird. Okay. So this is going to go either in the redonate or the garbage pile. The inside is filthy. It does look like the nose fell off of the dog and they stuffed it in the inside of the purse. So thank you for that in case I wanted to stitch it on. This is gonna go, unfortunately, in the discard. Looks like this box is gonna be one of those big only plush boxes. Sometimes we get some small. Oh my God, I have this same sheep already. Okay, I have to move this over because it's just so big. So it's a big old sheep. He's super soft. I actually have the same one personally, just um, in a smaller size. And I think it just comes from like Walmart or something. It's cute. I think I'll probably get right around 15 or 20 for it. The sheep and the lamb seem to go um, pretty easily and for a decent amount. As for the vintage mouse, I'm not sure on that. Next we have a big eyed penguin. Looks like it was probably, I was going to say a claw machine toy, and that would be right. It is from Peekaboo Toys. Um, it's fabric feels really thin, like right here. Um, it's probably still going to be listed. He's pretty good. He just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Yeah, we're already like almost through this box. So let's see, what else we got? We've got, what is this? A pup in barking puppies. Um, I don't see any puppies. So it almost looks like it's supposed to be like one of those uh, puppy surprises. Um, actually I have one listed in my store right now, it's a unicorn. It's just like a brown, really soft, really fluffy dog. I'll show you the tag real quick. Oh, it is from Commonwealth, so I do, I have sold those in the past. Here is the tag. It says, Pup in Barking Puppies. But I don't see any puppies in here, just this dog. This is going to be a lot faster than I thought box. Uh, next is a Minnie Mouse from Disney Cruise Line. Let me show you her. So that is the Minnie Mouse. 
Someone obviously got her as a souvenir on a cruise. On the Disney cruise. Yep, Disney Cruise Line. Here's another tag for that. I'm going to get a little closer. She's got little anchors in her bow. She's in really good condition, really clean and everything. And, oh, wait, wait, wait. Do we find a puppy? No, this is one of those original pound puppies. 1995 Galoob. Little tiny puppy. Uh, what are you? A Canada. I thought it was going to be because of that red ribbon. I don't know if you guys know of Russell Stover's, but I thought that's what that was going to be. Uh, here's a tag. Doesn't say anything, just a black bear from Canada. It feels like he's full of beans. We're going to research him first, but he may also go into the redonate. And last but not least, I was hoping it was going to be a build a bear since I saw it. Move this giant box because it's empty now. It's a giant My Little Pony. This thing is huge. Look at this thing, just with the tail and the wings. He needs a good wash, or she needs a good wash. Uh, a little stained. It is My Little Pony, but not Build a Bear. Can't win them all. There is the. Where is it? Where'd it go? There it is. My Little Pony tag. Uh, I think this is Rainbow Dash. Yep, needs a little bit of uh, cleaning up. But that's it. So I think there's only two that really need some washing. That first mouse and that uh, this My Little Pony. It's Her tail is a little sad. All right, everybody. So that's this plush box for today. Really fast and easy, I suppose, when they're all big. Um, I grabbed one of the lighter boxes, which are all 10 pound plush boxes from Goodwill Blue Box, if I didn't mention that already. Um, feel free to click on the link down in my description to get your own Goodwill Blue Box. They release them every Friday at 6 p.m. Also, if you've watched my other videos about cross-listing, there is a referral link in the description box below, which is new for a discount to Vendu, which is what I personally use for cross-listing. So if you think any of these are great or if any of these were duds, I think I have maybe two duds out of all of them. Just the bear, the Canada bear, and the dog, which I already have in this box waiting to go to discard. So I will see you next time. And hopefully with each time, this office gets a little better. So that way I'll have more to show you eventually. All right, remember to keep listing. It's Q4, baby. Let's get those listings out. Forget that eBay is having a overhaul right now in certain categories and just keep listing just do what you can manage and only take on the things that you can take on we can't change that ebay is doing an overhaul but we can change how much we list what we're listing and what we're spending our time on so i'll see you next time like i already said bye